It's an urban myth that G-O-L-F stands for gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. But for some, the survival of all male golf clubs in the 21st century proves that discrimination is alive and well. They're withdrawing the rights of women. And if you had a club that said, right, no blacks, no Jews, no disabled, they would think it was horrific. But to say no women, they seem to think it's acceptable. Three male-only clubs are located in Scotland, the home of golf. We asked the world's top female professionals what they had to say about this old boy mentality. It would be nice in this day and age to think that they would go, aren't we being a bit ridiculous? And, and invite ladies in. Oh, it would be great. You know, you only hear about these golf courses and it would just be awesome to have an event there. I mean, I would just, it would just be a great honor. I don't think it's insulting. I just, I just think it's, it's history and there's a tradition there. And I don't know, as long as they let females play every now and again, I'm fine with it. That's an opinion echoed by the women's governing body here in the UK. We really should um, be looking at our history and, and uh, celebrating the traditions but not being constrained by them. So yeah, move forward when it's the right time to move forward and when, when individual clubs choose to do so. The R&A, one of golf's governing bodies, will host this year's Open Championship at Muirfield, a staunchly male-only members club. They told us that club rules don't count during the championship. A minority of clubs that stage the Open are same gender and club rules are suspended for the duration of the championship. One such club, Royal Troon, are due to host the Open Championship in 2016. A quick visit to the course revealed that, even among all-male clubs, the treatment of women players varies. There is no attempt to understand that maybe here we are different. And one of the most annoying things we have, and we frequently get, are people who are saying, but I can't play Royal Troon because I'm a woman. And we say, look at our website. There is nothing that stops you. Have you ever tried phoning? Former Open winner and founder of the Ladies' European Tour, Vivian Saunders, says female golfers themselves are partly responsible. I think it's the women, actually. I think the women are to blame because a lot of them don't want to rock the boat. A lot of them at golf clubs, their husband pays their subscription. I think they, in a way, are their own worst enemies. You know, they, they just will not stand up for women's rights. Do you think the RNA have a duty to change things as they are at the moment? Completely. I think, I think it's terrible. The, the RNA is the governing body of golf throughout the whole world, apart from the, in the USA and Mexico. And I really do think that they have a responsibility to open the game up and actually lead by example. It may be some time yet before women are on an even par. Christina McFarlane, CNN, Scotland.